Time to start thinking about that spring and summer vacation plan and frequent traveler, author of the popular book, Good Food to Share, and co-founding editor of ApartmentTherapy.com, Sarah Kate Gillingham Ryan joins us today with her road rules for reducing the cost of travel. Sarah Kate, thanks so much for joining us. So nice to be here. Thanks for having me. Well, we appreciate you being here. Now, all the talk in the travel world is gas prices. They're expected to go up. They're already pretty high. So do you think that's going to impact summer travel at all? I do. I think people get scared when things like gas prices rise, but it's important that people still travel. And I think a lot of people are just finding ways to do it in a more budget friendly way. One of my favorite ways to travel with a tighter budget without compromising comfort is to find a hotel to stay in like Hyatt House where you have everything you need for your trip under one roof. So amenities like free Wi-Fi and a 24-7 gym and a full free hot breakfast. If you're traveling with a family, say of four people, that's a huge savings. Allows you to spend some money out doing some activities. I guess my favorite tip as a cook and both professionally and personally, someone who loves to cook is the in-suite kitchens that Hyatt House offers. So you can cook some of your meals in your hotel room. And I know that's a little bit of an unusual idea, but we've been doing it here. I have some recipes we've made out of my book, Good Food to Share. Yeah, let's see what and, you got there. Um, yeah, we have, uh, these are some simple things that you can kind of munch on, some fruit with prosciutto and some popcorn with lemon herb butter and then a whipped hot chocolate, which I always, I always like to tell people, even if they're not big cooks, make something from scratch instead of using a mix. And so with this kitchen behind me, you can do any of these things. You could even make a full lasagna. So it really depends on how much energy you want to put into cooking. But at Hyatt House, uh, they'll do the shopping for you and they'll clean up. So they'll kind of bookend the cooking experience and just leave the fun part to you. Exactly. None of the mess and none of the hassle. Sounds great. Now, when we travel, you also want to make sure that your hotel room feels more like your own home because that's what it's going to be for a couple of days. What are some of the tips you can spruce it up and make sure that you feel comfortable? Um, if I'm traveling alone, I like to bring a photograph or something from home of my family. And if I'm with my family, um, I like to do things like throw a scarf over the television so I don't have to deal with the side of the TV. I, I, um, with my daughter, I try to limit the TV time. Or I'll, I'm not foreign to moving around the furniture a little bit, making it make some room to dance, whatever you're going to do at home. Buy some flowers at the local deli and plunk them in an old milk jug. That's one way of really lightening up the room, making it feel less cookie cutter and making it bright and happy. Exactly, you really want to get that feng shui in there to make sure that you feel comfortable. That's now, what right. are the other ways that people can save some money this travel season without compromising their enjoyment or their relaxation? A couple of things. One thing is do a little research before you leave. Find out where you're going, what some of the local attractions are. Uh, I always find I have more fun when I do what the locals do and not so much what the tourists do. So do some research ahead of time. If you don't have a lot of time at Hyatt House, there's someone called a house host. They're like a concierge and they will help you figure out what to do. Um, bring your own tea bags, bring your own coffee grounds. That's something I like to do that sounds like a small step, but it really does save some money over an extended period of time. I think if you bring some of those comforts from home with you, you not only feel better, but you're saving some money along the way, leaving up some of your budget, freeing up that budget for some of the experiences in the community. Absolutely. And finally, where can our viewers go to get more tips on you, your book, and some of the uh, things you've been telling them about this this morning? Absolutely. On the uh, Facebook page of Hyatt House, we put together a great list of tips for traveling in a budget-friendly way without compromising your comfort. There's also information about some of the recipes I've adapted from my book, Good Food to Share, for Hyatt House. So these are recipes really meant for cooking on the road as long as you have access to a grocery store. And you can also enter a great contest on the Facebook page where you and nine of your friends can win a trip to any Hyatt House in the U.S and also have an exclusive party there, including transportation. So go to the Facebook page for Hyatt House, enter that contest, leave us your top travel tip, that's how you enter, and find out some of these great tips. Sounds great, I'm gonna head over there right now. Well, Sarah Kate, thank you Good. so much for joining us, we appreciate it. Thanks for having me, it was really fun. A happy summer to you. All right, we'll be right back with more Low Country Live in just a moment.